In this video, we're just going to take a brief overview of the Godot engine. So what you have on the top is all of your main icons. So on the left hand side of this top bar, you have your menus. So if you were to click on the scene, you can create new scenes from here. Now scenes house lots of different things. So you can actually house a level in a scene, you can house a character, so a character can have its own scene, an enemy can have its own scene, a bullet can have its own scene. And because scenes can be nested in other scenes, this makes it a really efficient way of working. You can then also look at your project settings, you can look at your debug settings, you have your various different editor settings, and then you have your help menu. In the center, you have all of your main editors. Now this isn't all of the editors, but this is the main ones. So you have your 2D engine, you have your 3D engine, and you have your scripts, so this is where you're going to be coding. And any time you can switch between this. It's interesting to know that you can have a 2D scene um, nested inside of a 3D scene. So if you want to create a HUD or a heads up display, you could do that in a 2D scene and then nest it in a 3D scene, which is really, really powerful stuff. Um, when you want to create your scripts, you do it here. So um, the scripting language inside of Godot is very, very similar to Python, which is really useful. Then you have your assets library. So the main ones we're going to be using is the 2D menu and the scripts menu. If we come along here, we have all of our various settings. So we have our play button, our stop button. Now this will play the initialized scene. So at the when you run your when you run your game for the first time, you click on this. It will tell you to set up the scene that you want to start with. Now, if you want to play your current scene, you can actually click on this one here, and it will play the current scene, which is very useful. Now, if you find that your render is slow, you can actually change this from the GL3 to the GL2, which is really useful. So if in that initial setup you chose the wrong engine or the wrong renderer, you can actually just change it here, which is makes it really, really simple to do. So that's the main bar. You have a few different editors down here. So these are more generic editors. So if you were adding some extra dynamics to your game, you have your output editor which when you run your game, this will pop up and take over the screen. You have your debugger, so if there's an error in your code, the debugger will come up and, and show you where the problem is. You have your audio engine, so if you're putting audio into your game, you'd come and look at your mixer and all of the various settings there. And then you have your animation, so you can actually do complex animations inside of Godot as well. So those are your two menu bars. Now on the left hand side, we start with the scene icon. So this is where all the nodes live. So we're going to start um, in the next video by clicking on this 2D scene. And then we're going to add some nodes by clicking on this plus icon. And it will bring up a list of all the nodes. Now nodes are what we use as code elements to build up our scene. They're really powerful and they make developing a game a lot simpler. Rather than writing lots of raw code, we can just attach our code to a node, which, which makes it really cool. You then have an import menu. So when you're importing your images, sometimes they fail and you can re-import them and, and just look at some of the settings here. Then we have our file settings. Now, interesting to know that this is a complete replica of where we saved our file. So if we look at this, and we look at this icon.png, I can open up the file where our, our game is saved. So this is my documents. Here's my 2D platformer. Now, if you look, here's the icon.png, just like here. Here's the default environment, which is this one here. And then we have a couple of hidden hidden documents here but ultimately every time we upload an asset if we put it here it will turn up in the game which is absolutely great so you've got two options here you either drop your images or your sounds here or you drop them here and I'll show you that in a future video as well so let's go over to the right hand side now every time you select a node it will have settings now this is where the settings happen so each node has different settings and you can adjust them here so if you select a node here you can adjust the settings here um, you also have a node editor as well which brings up even more settings um, and then finally you have your window so this this can be seen as your canvas or it can be seen as your editor um, or it can just be seen as your game level but this is ultimately where all of your assets will end up and you can visualize your game so that's pretty much the game editor in a nutshell